Have any of you ever wanted to go to a convention but just couldn't? Well, I have a solution! I'm partnering up with Unlocked, the live streaming network that allows you to talk to your favorite voice actors, cosplayers, and the like, to give you an exclusive access key to Anime Milwaukee. It's perfect for those of you who can't physically be there at the convention itself. It's gonna give you access to all the main stage and featured event panels, unlocked virtual panels for Dragon Ball Z, Ruby, and My Hair Academia, fan interviews, vendor hall coverage, and exclusive unlocked competitions. Each exclusive access key is only $5, and with it, you're automatically entered into a drawing for a signed Funko Pop figure. If you would like to take this opportunity to virtually attend Anime Milwaukee, there's going to be a link in the description and pinned comment for you to get your all access key. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Back? Hmm. Is there a bee in here? Show yourself, bee. Okay, seriously, where is that coming from? Oh. So this is happening now, huh? Well, I mean, not officially yet, but you guys are once again blowing things out of proportion. Rendora held hands at the end of Volume 4. The parallels between that and Yang and Blake? I don't know what to tell you, man. Build up has been as sweet as honey. All right, but did you see all those white rose moments, though? I'm just so happy we finally got to see Elmanaw's backstory. <coughs> you know what I'm not excited for? The hiatus? Yeah, ain't that the truth. Well, hey, at least we have Ruby Chibi to tide us over, right? I honestly can't tell if you're joking or not. At least we'll get time to prepare for the gay. Ruby, I'm looking your silver eyes with Volume 7 is going to be wife centric and it's going to be awesome! We can finally move on with our life and she's grown so much and so strong. I'm so proud of her! She protects, she attacked, but most importantly, she got her groove back! Me, oh my god, it's just back and she's adorable! <laughs> Boob genie. You know, I thought it was fine, you know, with Pierce's death being how many volumes ago, but this volume just had to go and rip open that wound again. Oh, gee, wait, who was the lady by Pierce's statue? Someone from Pierce's family, most likely? Adam is finally dead, thank god! Okay, but like, is he though? He literally got stabbed twice and fell off a cliff. Yes. Really? <laughs> yes! Adam had so much freaking wasted potential as a villain. He was irredeemable! If Winter doesn't end up being the Winter Maiden, my theories are down the drain. We haven't seen Iron Wood in a really long time. Is he okay? Oscar's a wuss. I just want Ospin back. I'm just glad he changed his getup because, I mean, the whole farm boy thing was like, uh, but his new outfit, super aesthetic. But we went through so much, but he's so sweet and innocent. He's a pure summer child. Summer's three second appearance having freaking shock! Write that down! Write that down! Summer's like dead, right? Like it's confirmed, like she's not gonna pop up in a future volume or something. Wait, does that mean that Summer would be the Summer Maiden? Yeah, the credits Wizard of Oz reference was amazing! Wait, was it after credit scene? How do you see the Gorilla Grim have wings so they can fly to Atlas? Atlas is literally floating above everything else. I mean, no wonder they're so sheltered and isolated. It's so happening! The Terra Arc family is so sweet, I love them! When did Ruby become all about romance? I'm so sick of all this gay pandering! All the homo! And good LGBT rep. Is it bad that I like their love story? I mean, it's so tragic, but it's so romantic, you know? Oh yeah, I wonder how Crow's gonna sound now. Hey Ruby, Legend of Korra called, they want their old Katara back. It's not that bad if I ship it, right? Can you stop changing outfits for like five seconds? Bees in the truck. Bees! Okay then. <laughs> <laughs>